Shalom. I'd like to start off by giving all glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honor said, teachers, elders, and apostles of great Muslim. And likewise, brothers are there put on this truth. Faithfully, fearlessly, feeding and sheeping to you, brothers and sisters, tuning in. Shalom. And this devil, Esau the Edomite, the so called white man, is living on borrowed time. Yes, he is. Okay, this is the book of Job 14, 7, verse 4. And it says, Who can bring a clean thing out of the unclean? Now, one, Esau is filthy. He's dirty. He's abominable. He's wicked. He's a sodomite. And Esau, the Edomite, the so-called white man, must be destroyed. But first, he has to go into slavery, okay? Continuing on, it says, Seeing his days, I determine the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish as a hireling his day. Okay, so the Lord, how about you, Shai? has this wicked devil Esau the Edomite the so-called white man okay doing his bidding okay being the left hand okay here on this earth to bring out that great sword okay which is going to punish the wicked of this earth including okay the two-thirds of Yashirala, Israel, the so-called blacks and Americans and Latinos who choose not to hearken or hear or forbear to these words that are coming out from the prophets in these last and wicked days here in Great Babylon America and across the earth via the YouTube and all the other platform that we upload these videos let's go into the book of Revelations 12 and 12 and it says therefore rejoice Joyce ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, us who are in this truth. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Okay, so the Lord is given a clear description of who the devil is, which is Esau the Edomite, the so-called white man, okay, he's that red horse, okay, that takes away peace from the earth, okay, and this is the, these are the wicked people, okay, that has changed the images of the judge, okay, the Most High, Yahweh Shai, okay, and also all the prophets, okay, the ones who have us, okay, the children of Israel, okay, in constant oppression, okay, and depression and slavery and misery here in Great Babylon, America and across this earth, okay, but now, okay, seeing that his time is short, the Lord said, what, okay, he has great wrath for all of those that the, that that is uh okay continuing or uh, continuously living okay on this earth okay following the ways of the so-called white man okay let's go into how this white man is going to bring it out because especially you edomites here okay i mean you know uh some of you right now are catching hard time but this is going to go on a scale that you people have not even began to comprehend this is the book of revelations 13 and 6 stand with verse 15 coming soon and it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name now you're probably wondering you know those who are probably like the more entertaining type videos okay why are we bringing out the MOTB the mark of the beast right now more and more and more okay in this, in this ministry is because we are here we are already here right now you're seeing brothers now putting up a lot of videos with these Edomites crying poor me poor me poor me I can't make a living and all of that stuff well hey pursuing the dude woman 30 and 7 the Lord said what? He's going to put these curses on our enemy. Yes, these people walking around you are your enemy. I don't care how they smile on your face. I don't care if they give you a glass of water or they have the door open for you. Either way, okay, we're their enemy. We're, we're, we're basically here to entertain them, okay, and they don't see you nothing more, okay, than a convenience for them at their beck and call. But right now, the Lord is now changing that around, starting with their lower level people, okay, who they would call, you know, the poor or the middle class people right now. It's starting to see this, okay? But so you see a, a surveillance system, okay, that's going to be coming out on this earth, okay, unbeknown, un unseen any time any other time right now because they're now using quantum computer okay and elon musk starlink which he you know he he, he, <laughs> he told you people that it's, it's it's for free internet there's no such thing as free okay we don't get into heaven okay well, we don't go into the kingdom for free okay we have to go through trials and tribulation the mashiach yahushua and mashiach he had to die okay and give up his life okay for what his, for the hopefully lack here okay so nothing is free there's been blood spill okay for the hopefully lack to be saved so why do you people think okay that your doggone devil your devil leader Esau the Edomite the so called white man okay who you people have benefited from is going to give you something free this is the book of Ecclesiastes 8 and 11 it says because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily therefore the heart of the son of man it's fully set in them to do evil. Okay, this man is doing all kinds of wickedness. You think they're creating these computers, these fast super quantum computers, you know, for the benefit, okay, of, of the so-called human race, as they like to say it? Okay, absolutely not, okay? 
they didn't have that scandemic okay and the solution to that scandemic okay as a as, as to help okay humanity okay is this is going into the next wicked agenda that they have and the wicked agenda they have right now is what they have absolute complete control right now okay and you people are now starting to feel that because see that white privilege that you that you don't want to you so-called white people have enjoyed is now suddenly crashing but see there's more remember back in revelations uh 12 and 12 it says what <laughs> whoa whoa okay to the inhabitants of the earth you people live in the earth okay and the sea for the devil has come down onto who's the devil a so-called white man the same one that has given you is prop you up in your house the 401k give you the great life and all the other stuff like that you know uh shot shoot and kill jake in, in, in the streets you know make fun of us all the other different things right there why do people sit back and laugh okay so you have 18 nations that are here in great babylon america okay and the one nation there's always one nation okay the the, the nation of israel okay the Asherah, the so-called Blacks and Americans and Latino, the true biblical Hebrew Israelite, okay, is at the is at the butt of every joke, okay, is at the bottom of society, okay, and you people think, well, because we're dark skinned or because we're, we're poor, that 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 we enjoy being at the bottom. No, we don't enjoy being at the bottom. But right now, okay, these miseries is going to be translated to you. Let's go into the book of Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, seven verse fourteen, because again, it starts off with what? Woe. To the world and them that dwell in it you people dwell in it you see you're gonna be like those drown those people who are drowning you're you're gonna struggle to try you know stay afloat you know you you gulping water on me and it's just a horrible case okay and this is what you, you, you this is why you see all these people putting up all these youtube videos and these tiktok video crying about their misery and poor we don't give a shit. we don't care we told you okay we don't care okay we're laughing we're rejoicing okay that's why revelations 12 and 12 start over with what therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them we dwell in the truth we understand right now okay us promised by the malak okay he's coming back to what slay this man put him in chains okay and you people are now going to get double the judgment that we got okay you're going to be the ones who are going to go through the impression so on but before that happens in a thousand year period here's what the dog on devil esau the edomite the so-called white man is going to have you doing because it's going to be utter chaos it says woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and the destruction draw it nigh and one people that's all of you people so-called blacks native americans and latinos who are part of the two-thirds who are joining hands with these people okay and also you caucasian you asians you you indians and whatever other 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 tribes that are here okay other people are here whatever you identify your corporate name you identify with here's here's what all of you're going to be doing for the sword and the destruction joint now and one people just stand up and fight against one another and swords in their hands why are you going to be doing that okay because you see what you're going to have is rebellions okay rebellious people versus those who are going to comply just the guy you had during the scandemic you had those who who, who comply and then those who are rebellious okay okay and they didn't deal with it okay all right what we understand we don't follow we don't follow the ways of this world we live okay as i said in, in revelations 12 and 12 okay start off that we dwell in heaven okay we have this truth okay so we're not part of your system we don't give two shit what the hell esau brings out okay the elect is not going to be falling prey okay to what's coming on it says for there should be seditions amongst men and waiting one another so it's not going to be comfortable you're not going to get along people they should not regard the kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand their power so there's going to be great division you people are going to kill murder each other okay you're gonna do some horrible horrible things okay because what you're gonna have here is surveillance you got a house getting burned down rob rape you know pillaging you're gonna have the 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 you're gonna have uh bounty hunters going up looking for those who are not who are not complying okay you're going to have uh, people just turning on each other snitching each other you know tons and tons of death is going to be coming here the great babylon america it says a man shall desire to go in a city and shall not be able for because of their pride the city should be troubled and the houses should be destroyed and men should be afraid so imagine what you women are going to be oh yeah so much for that dug on equal rights right you, be, you women are going to be pissing your damn panties okay some of y'all are you some of y'all gonna be so stressed out you're not even gonna have your period okay you're not even gonna have your period you're so stressed out and so scared and it says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy the houses and the, with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation okay food famine okay people annoyed with each other 
all of these are things that's going to go on like that. People are annoyed with somebody who's not taking it. Remember what they had, had, in, had, had in the news during the scandemic? They're saying that these people, these people were causing you to be sick because they refuse to take the, 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 the jump shot, okay? And so the same thing is going to come too when they come up with this MOTB with the mark of the beast, okay? When they present this before you, okay? Oh, and, and, and people are not complying. You people are going to want to go up against them. They're going to want to go up against you because they're going to remember the, the current ways right now, okay, which these time is dwindling, okay, and they're going to go, why are you people such doggone, you know, ass kisses or whatever case like that. So there's not going to be a p any peace amongst people, okay? You're going to you take it, okay, you're going to be in derision, and we're talking to the two-third here, okay? Um, and, and, and guess what, you know, with you dug on Edomites, okay, along with you other nations, I mean, you know, you're set to go up against each other. Let's go, okay, into the book, okay, of Isaiah 19 and Star Wars 2, because uh, as, as we can see here, all hope is gone, okay? You, 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 people, you people are going to have a fear uh, on a whole new level, okay? Your hope is going to be gone, okay? It, it's going to be that, that oh my God moment, okay? You people are going to have, okay? Because why? You're in a fallen state, okay? It is, it is, you're finally seeing it. That's what those men out there on the highway in the Bible were talking about, okay? That fallen state that's going to come on the proud. And who's the proud? The Edomites, the so-called white people, okay? All right, because right now as it stands, okay, they're going up against okay their own leader, the so-called white man, okay, who's 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 ruling, who's who's come down with great wrath on them, okay. Remember, this is the same man, okay, that uh, killed, okay, the children, okay, and the women and the men of the tribe of Israel, the so-called black Americans and Latinos. Why do people just stand by and rejoice at our misery, okay, for the last what several hundred years? But now it's here. It's about to come, coming soon. This is the book of Isaiah 19, Stand verse 1. It says, The burden of Egypt, which is placed on the spiritual sword of Egypt. Behold, the Lord, the Habashim, shall ride upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. You people are about to experience fear so horrible okay your balls is going to go up in your damn body you dug on men okay you you, you you're going to you're going to have that instant friggin dug on uh erectile dysfunction and stuff like that, that that's going to be the last thing in your mind only the perverts out there and the rapists they're going to be out there happy with this part right with this with this part of it okay this is going to be just great fear because again you people are going to try to comply you're wondering why you comply but yet still you have the sword still chasing after you and it says and i will set the egyptians against the egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against Against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Yes, yes, let's blow those trumpet. World War Three is about to come out. Okay, World War Three. Okay, we seen a gear. We seen the gears of war going on right now. Okay, strategically all over the place. The United States is placing their their uh, their their military forces, the same way as China and Russia, North Korea, everywhere. Even Japan right now is actually turn around and actually build their own military force up again too. Because why they realize this weak pussy ass nation called the United States of America is really not there to defend them. Okay, and they're gonna turn on them damn crackers who are sitting up with them bases all over the place there. Iowa Cooney, okay, uh, all those places where they have those bases like that. They're gonna go and raid them and take their damn food from them. They can be they can learn. How to eat MRE over there, okay? Let's go into the book of Ecclesiastes 8 and Psalm verse 12, okay? Because uh, <laughs> this is beautiful times, okay? Okay, and it says, Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it would be well with them that fear God, power, which fear before him, which is us. We're, we're filthy rags. We go down the highway and the byway, but we're in these flesh. Okay, we're subjected to temptation and all the other different things here like that. And this is why the Mashiach had to shed his blood, okay? But we have the fear of the we have the fear of the Mashiach, we have the fear of the, the Mosai Yahabah Shimashai, okay? Which is the reason why you see us out there doing this work di diligently, daily us commanded, okay? We don't fear Esau, the so-called white man. I'm reading to you and you dug on crackers who may come across this video, understanding here, you have a horrible time coming to you, okay? But it says but it shall not be well with the wicked which you dug on Edomites, you so-called white people. Every single one of you are wicked. All of you. You're all wicked. Okay? You are the seed of the wicked. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow. So this place is going to be destroyed. Okay? We brought it out over and over to you. Great Babylon America is going to be a pit, lake of fire. Because he feared not before power. You don't fear. Okay? That's the reason why they're exalting themselves like that. They, 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 they change the image. Okay? Blasphemous. Okay? They changed a Mashiach, who's an austere man, okay, to this sissy cracker, blue eyed, damn brown hair, damn devil with long hair, which the scriptures bring it out very clearly that long hair on a man is shameful. So why would the Mashiach, okay, have long hair? Come on, get the fuck out of here, you dug on, dug on, sodomite crackers.
the devil, who is Esau the Edomite, the so-called white man who has made the life miserable, who've oppressed and destroyed the lives of the Hebrew Israelite, the true biblical Hebrew Israelite, the so-called black Americans and Latino, it's going to be the same devil that is going to be destroying, okay? The rest is you people that are here in Great Babylon, America, you other 17 nations, okay? In particular, okay, the tribe of Edom, okay? You Edomites, okay, you so-called white people, so there's great dark days that's coming here in Great Babylon, America. And for you two-thirds Hebrew Israelites out there that is rebellious to this truth, to this ministry and this gospel, okay? You too is going to be part of everything I just read to you, okay, and described to you and what you're seeing on the screen here, Lord willing. The hopefully lack was edified and all you dug on will make it two-thirds and you Edomites and all you other nations were terrified. I'd like to close it by giving all glory and honor to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to teach us our lesson and pause of great Muslim and likewise, brothers, that they're putting on the truth. Faithfully, fearlessly, feeding the sheep and teeth, brothers and sisters, doing it in Shalom.